Hello everybody, this is John for doing number today. I'll be doing a deck profile. So um I, I told you I already told you this. Um I'm gonna show you guys ten deck profiles. <laughs> so I'm on a rampage right here. I, I I'm thinking about just showing you guys some basic decks, some of those uh common decks you see all the time, but uh I, I do have some uh, different ideas than uh, some people sometimes, but anyway, we have uh, 32 monsters, uh, 8 spells, uh, and no traps, and this is uh, going to be my Chaos Dragon deck, it's just going to be a basic, uh, fun, and I, I actually feel like this deck is really fun. Um, unfortunately, we lost a Future Fusion, and we lost, a, uh, well, 2 Red Eyes, but, you know, originally they only played 2 Red Eyes anyway. But anyway, let's go, let's get to the deck profile. So we have uh, 1 Red Eyes, 2 Jagoidias, 1 Blacklist Soldier on the beginning, 1 Dark Home Dragon, 1 Gores, 3 Light Pulsar Dragons, 1 Chaos Sorcerer, 2 Dark Flare Dragons, 1 Jane, two, uh, 3 Lylas, 1 Eclipse, which you could actually put 2 Eclipse, I just felt like since really there's only 2 targets, Dark Home Dragon and 1 uh, Red Eyes, I felt like really for the most part I'm really just going to go for Red Eyes and I can, uh, instead of having 2 Eclipse, I can just have a uh, Divine Dragon instead, so I just felt like... Uh, Having one of each is really good. Then we have a Jane, uh, not Jane, and Aaron, an Honest, uh, Divine Dragon, a Sangan, two Tour Guides, two Car, uh, car Troopers, one Night of Salem, which again you can say uh, tour, tour Bus, but I'd still like Night of Salem, especially since uh, this deck has even less spells or trap cards uh, than some other decks. And uh, since I have mostly monsters, I should actually have some destruction instead of having a Tour Bus, which just puts a monster from the de graveyard to your deck. Then we have uh, three Rikos and three Effect Veilers. And now for the spell cards, we have one Allure, one Charge, one D Dark Hole, one Heavy Storm, one Monster Reborn, and three Solar Recharges. And some people actually rather have two or whatever, and th like maybe put in like a f Forbidden Lance or whatever. I decided to put in three because, t uh, like, well, most people just play uh, three Lilas and three Rikos. But it's actually smart to have a Jane to get over the Sun Kings, which is actually really hard, to, uh, which is really, really good against this deck. And uh, Aaron to have uh, to get over those Zen mains or whatever. Now for the extra deck, we have uh, one. Uh, Gustav, Gustav Max, whatever, and yes, you can still actually summon this monster, even though you, you know, you only have one Red Eyes, you can uh, exceed it with a uh, Trigodio, or you can actually use a Monster Reborn and go for, like, a level 10 uh, monster. Uh, then we have um, one Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I actually have this card, uh, just, you know, a lot of these cards are just certain situations. The extra deck isn't actually a big portion of the deck, it's not important so I have a lot of situational cards because I only have one level 8 monster but there's always that situation in which I could actually get o uh, get that monster on the field uh, so I just wanted to uh, you know just in case situations one big guy uh, one photon strike bouncer one uh, heretic dragon king of a tongue which actually I could actually have um, a Gaia instead of a big uh, big guy uh, maybe a different time uh, we have one armor ninja one Queen D G D Dragoon Dijin, uh, one Corn, one Dijin, one Chain, one Levier. I mean, Levier. I keep doing that. Leviathan, one Levier, one Zen Mains, uh, Black Rose, and an LA just contested, which these two are almost completely useless, but uh, I do have my Effect Filler to help me out with uh, syncing if I ever want to do that, because I can actually sync with the uh, Effect Filler and a Light Pulsar Dragon to go for a Rose, or I can sync uh, Effect Filler with a level 4 monster, probably like, well, it doesn't really matter which one, and uh, go for Ellie just Cataster, which actually, you could actually sync with the uh, Eclipse Waver, and I believe this card is, yeah, it is mandatory if it's a card sent to the graveyard, it's mandatory to put a uh, level 7 or higher, a lighter dark a dragon type monster from your deck and banish it. So, yeah, <clears throat> that would actually be a pretty good combo, actually. So, anyway, if you guys have any uh, questions, uh, suggestions, or comments, please comment below, and I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile, and I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys next time. Merp!